Howdy. So in a previous video, I was talking about how you can tune, tune windows to very low latency, almost real time. Um, I was going over this Microsoft, uh, how to set up device for real time performance. Got some tweaks in here. So here's what I figured out. First thing we want to do is we want to add the ultimate performance power plan into windows. And we do that by entering this little guy right here at a command prompt. Uh, you know, obviously uh, administrative command prompt. Now, once you have that, you're going to want to go to your power options uh, in the control panel and flip over to ultimate performance, which is the one we just added. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some tweaks to that power plan. So we're going to enter this command, which disables processor idle. And then the next command right after that is this one, which then causes the power plan to be active. Um, and that, so that's basically tweaking the ultimate performance power plan. The cool thing about this little hack is that I can flip between uh, the new thing that I added, ultimate performance tweaked, and just any other power plan, right? Now I want you to notice up here at my task manager. So I'm just going to high performance. That's like standard. You know, we got some load. By the way, I'm encoding with OBS um, using NVIDIA HVEC or NVEC, sorry. And... Uh, <clears throat> Basically, that's going to keep the load on my system fairly low while I'm doing this little test here. But uh, so at the end of this, you can flip between just your normal power modes and then ultimate performance. Now, watch as I click this, watch the task manager. No idle um, on the cores on the CPU means they're at 100% all the time. Also, if you look at hardware info, you can see that all of my P cores are locked to 5200 and then E cores 4200. Uh, the other uh, uh, the well thing that happens is that with no idle, the processor at quote unquote idle, right now I'm, I'm in encoding, so it's not fully idle, but mostly idle, uh, is going to increase temperatures by quite a bit. So this is uh, ultimate performance with no idle, and then if I flip back to high performance, we can see temperatures drop fairly drastically pretty quick. And you know, if you have fans and things, you can hear them kick up a little bit. Um, but here's the here's what the tweak does. Uh, so, like I said, very very low latency. Um, here is in uh, <clears throat> Firefox running a VSync tester, and I have it in like you know quote unquote normal high performance mode in Windows. Now watch as I flip to ultimate performance. Look at that line. So that's our latency and our like hitching and. In terms of like the mouse control and video games and stuff, this is going to be much, much, much more accurate, lower latency and all of that sort of stuff. You do get higher uh, temperatures on your CPU, but it doesn't really make the CPU run hotter at load. It just runs, it makes it run a lot hotter at idle. So there's that. So the cool thing about this tweak is you can flip between the two things, right? I can go to high performance. Also, I could go to balance. You can see the uh, effects of the VSync tester there. Balanced to high performance is fairly similar, a little worse in balanced. But then we go to ultimate with no processor idle, and that's clearly better. I'm not sure what that little blip is there. Maybe just clicking around and stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and run uh, latency mon right over here. Let's see if we can get 15 seconds. And geez, that's low. I mean, that is just low. So I'm in, you know, using these tweaks. Um, there's one final tweak which I'll go over right after I stop latency mod, I'll do 15 seconds. That is just unbelievably low latency. Final tweak is right down here, uh, this registry entry right here. So that disables threaded DPCs, meaning that only one core is going to be servicing your driver DPCs rather than mul spreading that over multiple cores. And it is what it is. Um, so this isn't flippable between power plans. Um, if you wanted to uh, delete this, you would have to go back in and, and um, change your registry and, and delete the stuff it just added. Um, so that's not flippable, but it is what it is. I just explain that. I have that actually enabled right now on my system. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can tell this is incredibly low latency, and it's a tweak I haven't actually seen done yet. So you know, here's my processors uh, with no idle commands, um, just blasting out um, fairly hot temperatures, and then we flip back to just normal, which is the cool thing. You can just flip back to normal just by changing your power plan. Right on. Uh, food for thought. Talk to you on the next one.